asking how to clean the ST501. Some of you have the platinum, some of you have the white machine. Um, the cleaning on them are both the same, and um, it's really important that you do the cleaning. I live in the Texas Hill Country, and because we're on a limestone creek, I actually clean mine once a week. But some people, if you're on city water, you can clean your machine just once a month. So let me show you how to get started on this. You just need a couple of tools. You need your um, citric acid, and Enagic sells this at enagic.com and in the shop section. And then you need your e-cleaner, and this can also be purchased from enagic.com. And then you just need a cup. This one holds about two cups of water, and that's about all you need. Okay, so let's get started on this. Cleaning your machine only takes about two minutes. It doesn't take very long, and it's really important to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is um, unplug the machine. I've already unplugged mine because mine's underneath. So you first of all unplug the machine. You don't want any power going to your machine. Second thing you do is we open this front cover and it exposes the filter. We're going to open this right here, this ring. We take the ring off and your filter will come right out just like that. Now see I didn't get any rings, O-rings on here. So you need to go in and capture these, put these on, just like that. And this is going to be set aside, and you, you store it like this. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay, the next thing we do is this is the e-cleaner. We're going to open this baby, and we are going to put in about one cup full, one, one scoop full of this e-cleaner. I'm sorry, the citric acid. What this does is it brings the pH up very high to like 2, 2.5, and it cleans the, the, uh, any scale or calcium that can build up on your plates. So you make sure it's nice and snug. You put it on. You get your little ring, and you put that on. You make sure that it's secure, nice and tight. That's nice and tight. Now the next thing you do is you use your um, two cups here, and we're going to put our nozzle in, and we're also going to put our acid water in here, and we're going to just fill up this cup with water, cold water. And we, it'll go on for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just a little bit more. And that should do it. We're going to leave this in the cup. The hose is in there. The citric acid will actually be filtering through the machine, actually flowing through. It's not being pumped, but it is in the machine, and it's doing its job. Okay, so it's in the morning now, and uh, we are ready to put our machine back together. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure and run your water for about three to four minutes, just like this. So you're going to let this water run because basically what you're doing is getting the citric acid out of the machine and um, just flushing it and getting all the calcium and, and any of the citric acid removed from the machine so that you're going to have the best drinking water on the planet. All right, so it's been four minutes. We're ready to assemble our machine and put it back together so that we can start drinking the best water on the planet. So we turn it off. Keep in mind, we've never had the power on. We've still had it totally unplugged at all times because you don't want any um, of that electricity going while you're doing the cleaning process. So we're just going to take off this e-cleaner, take off the ring, Remove your um, e-cleaner, and what you're going to do is make sure that you open it, and you're going to rinse it out with some water, and you're going to let it um, let it air dry so that it doesn't um, get any mold in there. And then we come back and get our filter, and these should be replaced every 3,000 gallons. Um, I actually like replacing mine every six months.
sure it's seated. Get the ring on there. Nice and snug. We're going to turn it on first just to make sure everything is all is well. Okay, everything seems to be running perfect. So now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. All right, so we've plugged in our machine. We've turned it on, and we are now going to be making the best water on the planet. It's called Kangen Water, and I like 9.5. If you need more information on this, go to my website at www.gotwater.me, or you can also see drinktheCloud.com. This is the cloud, and it's the best water on the planet. Thanks.